Now, an acclaimed director puts his own mark on a much-loved film genre. Jeffrey Brown continues his fall film series from the Toronto International Film Festival. You have no idea, do you? Or did you choose not to know? On its face, Widows is a heist movie, a stylish thriller with star power, and plenty of explosions, dead bodies, and plot twists. But the day after its debut at the Toronto Film Festival in September, director Steve McQueen told me he also wanted something more. I want to sort of stimulate in people's minds uh, the things which are around them. You know, again, it is a roller coaster ride and a thrilling one through our current social economic environment. McQueen was born and raised in London, the son of working class immigrants. He made his name first as an artist. His work in video and other media exhibited in prominent galleries. A winner of the UK's prestigious Turner Prize in 1999. His first three feature films were all tough-minded and harrowing, taking on subjects seldom tackled in commercial cinema. Hunger in 2008, about the 1981 hunger strike by Irish nationalist Bobby Sands. 2011 Shame, a drama about sex addiction, again starring Michael Fassbender. And then the breakthrough of 12 Years a Slave in 2013, which won an Oscar for Best Picture and a directing nomination for McQueen. With that history, some critics wonder why McQueen would now turn to the well-trod heist genre. I don't know what the surprise is, um, because I'm a storyteller, and I want to go where I feel the best stories are, so that could be anywhere. It's a genre, we're kind of used to it, it has its own particular tropes. Whereas, and I've seen your earlier films, I think they, they're they exploring something that in many ways we haven't seen before. I think we're seeing things we haven't seen before in this picture. The convention always has to be broken, because otherwise we get to see the same film all the time. I mean, that's Hollywood really, but that's not how I wanted to sort of handle this particular understanding of a heist picture. Indeed, this is a heist film with a twist, many of them. McQueen adapted it from a 1980s British TV series of the same name, in which the widows of men in a gang of thieves attempt to carry on after their husbands are killed. McQueen watched it as a boy, and a seed was planted. I just related to the, the protagonists, these women who were deemed not to be capable and being judged by their parents, similar to how I was uh, being looked upon as a 13-year-old black child in, in London at the time. Our husbands aren't coming back. His film transplants and updates the action to present-day Chicago. But I've learned from men like your late husband and my father is that you reap what you sow. Let's hope so. It has an all-star and diverse cast, led by Viola Davis as Veronica, forced to take on a dangerous scheme after the violent death of her husband, played by Liam Neeson. My husband left me the plans for his next job. All I need is a crew to pull it off. Why should we trust you anyway? Because I'm the only one standing between you and a bullet in your head. Embedded in the story, as in contemporary life, issues of race, class, political corruption, and of course, gender, with the women as fully formed, complex characters in the lead. If this whole thing goes wrong, I want my kids to know that I didn't just sit there and take it. Now, the best thing we have going for us is being who we are. Why? Because no one thinks we have the balls to pull this off. McQueen enlisted writer Gillian Flynn, the Chicago-based best-selling author of Gone Girl and other thrillers, as his co-writer. What's cool about a heist film is, is the teamwork, and it's, it's the, the men figuring each other out, the men figuring each other's skill sets out. And to me, that's always such a male thing. You know, it's... The, it's you know, how do men work? How do men make teams? Mm -hmm. How do men drive jobs? Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's always what male society is about. So to get to see it, women do that, I think, is a, a very cool and very unique sort of thing. To me, it feels very groundbreaking because it feels very real. I heard you speaking on the stage before the premiere, and you were talking about the need to make films that look more like the real world, that where the people look more like real people mm -hmm. in the world. I was thinking about the people who go to the movies, the people in the audience, mm -hmm. want to need to be reflected on, onto the screen. Right. That's all. That, 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 that screen has to be a mirror reflecting back on the reality of its surroundings. That's all. Very simple. And that is not the case? 
often that is not. I mean, that's why people make a big deal about the holiday of diversity, as if they don't look out their window. I mean, it's our reality. Do you see things changing in, in film, in the culture? <sighs> slowly, slowly. I, hope, I mean, you know, it used to be that every sort of film, well, every other film, the, 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 you know, the, the main protagonist's best friend used to be black, and he used to sort of, or she used to sort of uh, disappear fairly quickly within the first 20 or 15 minutes. Right. So let's hope we get a fair and, and proper reflection of our, of our reality. And uh, if you want to keep sin alive, one has to sort of cater for the people who pay to go and see it. We are living in Steve McQueen's Widows opens today nationwide. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown at the Toronto International Film Festival.